Good morning. My name is Bruce Wisnicki. I'm 45 years old. I've been living with Parkinson's disease for 12 years. A few days ago, my friend and neurologist, Jeff Bronstein, called and asked if I would sp speak on the importance of stem cell research as it relates to Parkinson's disease. As an advocate for Parkinson's research, I sit on the board of the National Parkinson's Foundation. I'm also involved with the Michael J. Fox Foundation and the Holly Ride Foundation. I've also given my time to help, to help promote Parkinson's medications that have saved my life. Dr. Bronson has seen and heard me speak many times to many different philanthropic and fundraising organizations. When Jeff asked me to speak, my answer was sure, no problem, but from what perspective? I'm no scientist. No, he said, we need a patient's perspective. No problem. I love talking about myself. <laughs> to, which he, to which he replied, great, you have three to five minutes. <laughs> so now that I've used up half my time, let me relay the following. Parkinson's disease is one of those diseases that teaches, teaches us how much we really don't know. With all due respect to all the decorated scientists and doctors that are here, I have been fo fortunate to be part of cutting edge clinical trials for several medications that have helped save my life tremendously. I also believe that I'm one of the lucky ones. I have the resources to have the finest care available. Many of the medications I was on trials for are now FDA approved. Here's the catch. I have been on these drugs for many years. Over time, they're becoming much less effective. Initially, I could go for several hours without requiring any medication at all. Over time, the, the medications become less and less effective to the point where I need to dose inside of every two hours. I spend half my day functioning and half my day trying to function. Even more devastating are that two of these medications are becoming more difficult to obtain. Neuropro, the dopamine, dopamine agonist patch, which I'm currently wearing, has just been recalled by the FDA. Apikin, which is an injection that helps me give me the drug quickly when I need it, is in danger of being pulled. I believe I'm still able to work and function because to do otherwise would expedite the progress of this, of this disease. However, I'm running out of medical options. My ability to function is becoming increasingly difficult. We all need to commit ourselves to finding alternatives to combating this progressive and debilitating disease. I would never dare to suggest that Parkinson's disease is better or worse than other diseases, but it is progressive and dramatically affects my quality of life. If we, not, if we don't discover other alternatives for treatment, Parkinson's patients will eventually experience the hopeless condition of bodily functions that make it impossible to enjoy life. My children, my pride and joy, want their daddy better. I'm fortunate to have the resource to obtain amazing medical care, but it's not enough. Many others are not so fortunate. I hope that you all take this message Use your expertise and your compassion to fund Parkinson's as much as you possibly can. Again, I appreciate your willingness to listen from a patient's point of view. I hope that you'll find the cure so that millions more people do not have to wait. And I think my three minutes are up.